Welcome everybody. Today we'll be talking about my Leatherman collection here. It's small, it's meager, but we've got some good interesting tools here and I plan on expanding it throughout the future. Leatherman Free Series coming up sooner or later. So, let's get into it. First off, Leatherman has several accoutrements. And shoot, I forgot the pouch. Boom, pouch. Um, Leatherman makes a full range of multi-tools. There's some that are like another little half inch bigger than this. This is like a four inch multi-tool. They have a four and a half inch series called the Surge. Awesome looking tool. Um, we have, starting off, we have the Leatherman Curl, which is like a slimmed down wave. We have the Leatherman Skeletal base version with the uh, serrated blade, partially serrated blade. We have one of their discontinued models, Leatherman Juice. I have the model CS4 of that series. And I have the Style CS, which is a small scissor, keychain, multi-tool. And that has a mod to it, a little 3D printed thing I got off of eBay for $13 that allows me to turn this little tool into an EDC screwdriver. It holds the driver, it holds the bits, you can put it in like that, or you can put it in with the spring gate down. Awesome, awesome little piece there. Uh, if you notice, there's a tool missing here, that's because I got both of those bits on the skeletal for when I carry it. Uh, let's, okay, let's get into it. Starting off with the small tool, we have the Style CS. There is a PS version where they put smaller scissors than this here where the knife blade is and replace the scissors with a plier head. Awesome little tool. I'm a scissor kind of guy, so I like having little snippy snips. These are great scissors. If the camera will focus, focus, there we go. Great scissors. And just as big and just as good as Victorinox, but not better than Victorinox. We have a great little knife blade that is chisel ground. So like this side is completely flat. This side is ground down and then has a micro bevel on it to give you the knife blade. Razor sharp. I, it is like literally almost razor sharp. On the other side we have a nail file and combination flathead Phillips head driver. Good little piece to have. Tucked away in the scales, we have tweezers, rivaling Victoria Knox if the camera will decide to bloody focus. There we go. Sharp little guys. That tucks away right in there. The 3D printed piece that I just showed you a minute ago can hold the leather and bits and that stuff. You know, for like 30 some dollars on Leatherman's website, this little guy's awesome. You can usually find these significantly cheaper on eBay. Another model that you'll probably only find on eBay is Leatherman Juice CS4. This is a discontinued model from Leatherman. And they had multiple variants of this when they had it going. And it is an awesome little tool. For size comparison, it is like very close to the SOG power pint. If you have the SOG power pint, this is like almost exactly the same in size. Like you've, you've got this board here that you can kind of see the length of stuff. Each little square is a half inch, two squares is an inch. You can kind of figure that out yourself if you want. I've already done a review on this. You go check out some previous videos of mine where I compared this directly with the Power Pint. This is going to be a Leatherman only video. We're not going to drag in Victorinox on the screen. This is going to be just just Leatherman. And this tool has nice pop out Phillips, a little lanyard ring that you need a secondary pin or something to get at because it's so tucked down in there. The one uh, flathead that I'm probably only going to use is that one and that's the only one that has enough leverage with the thumb notch being far enough out for me to give enough leverage to dig it out. The others are like so in there it's going to hurt a bit to get those. And then the one is like almost a chisel sharp. It is so freaking sharp. It's not showing up well on camera but that little guy in the middle is sharp. 
going to the outside tools, or let me show you the pliers here. I didn't show you the pliers. These are great little medium sized pliers. Like you compare them to a full size Leatherman, they're definitely smaller, slimmer, more compact. Just for size reference there. Um, the usual little wire stripper, wire cutter, big plier, needle nose plier. Very slim, very strong. Like this tool is solid. You may see just a little bit of spring, but the way it's a spring lock on the back, that tool isn't going to fail on you. It's very good. You can probably also almost crimp wires with that little piece just below the, pe the pivot where my finger is. Great little tool. Um, here we have can opener or bottle li cap lifter and can opener. I am dubious about the can opener. I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but I am. I question how good or that bad, good or bad that is. Sorry, English failed me for a second. We have the corkscrew that this came with. When this came in the mail yesterday, as of the time I'm recording this video, I took this little guy here. I said I wouldn't bring Victorinox stuff in, but I have to show this. This is the little eyeglass screwdriver mod that uh, Victorinox has on a lot of their corkscrew Swiss Army knives. This thing is absolutely wonderful and useful to have if you have glasses or you have a close friend who wears glasses a lot family. Great to have that around. And it just so happens to just so fit perfectly in the Leatherman corkscrew. That's the only outside brand we've got on in this video so far. On the flip side, we have a good pair of scissors that are a little bit bigger than Victorinox scissors. These little guys are great, snippy. They even have like a little bit of uh, serrations there at the very tip, thumbnail out to the tip there, little micro serrations, which are very good for small snipping stuff. Uh, to the other side, we have an awl, not great for leather work, but probably very good for woodwork. It's not sharp. You know, I'm poking that with my thumb. It's more of a sewing needle and a reamer than anything else. And then we have... A very good saw, just a little bit shorter than a Victorinox saw. Very thin, very slicey, small teeth, which is good. Uh, none of these tools lock on this tool, by the way. Very European friendly. If you're in Europe and you have those funky knife flaws where you can't have a locking blade, get this. If it, they're they're worth it. These go for about. 80, these went for like about $60 new. They're going for about $80 now because they're discontinued. They're worth a little bit more. But if you get any, pay anything under $80, you are getting a good deal on this multi-tool. The next tool we have, the last tool on this particular model, is the knife blade. It is hollow ground, so it has that little scallop there curving out. Very sharp. Very good. Very slicey. This is a very pocketable. I've had this in my cargo pocket all day walking around town and I forget that it's there it's it's just small enough and if you've got like normal pair of jeans that aren't like skin tight skinny jeans that's going to disappear in your pocket and it'll always be there for you you could also put like a little clip ring on it a little lanyard with the lanyard hole if you want to reattach it to yourself a little bit more firmly that's fine great tool I'd highly recommend getting one of those if you can Next up, we have the bare bones, skeletonized skeletal of the bunch, Leatherman Skeletal, which has pliers that are pretty much the same size as this, just a little bit blockier, a little bit stockier, but pretty much the same size, same gap, same length as the juice. We have a bit driver in the handle here, where you push focus. You push that little piece down and you can pull the bit out, reverse it, and stick it in. And extra bit storage here in this handle here. And to you it may look gimmicky like the bit's going to fall out. This is a very snug fit. I'm not going to lose the bit out of this by accident. I mean, you know, it's going to take some serious finagling to get that out. It almost clicks in the way this little piece is bent down, that almost clicks the, 
the bit into the tool. But that is like the only internal tool that you have to open to get aside from the pliers. This is bare bones minimum. We have pliers, we have bit driver, we have a carabiner or bottle cap lifter, and the partially serrated combo edge. This sucker is sharp, it is amazing, I love it, but I would prefer a plain edge. You can get plain edge versions that are like five, 10 bucks more and that come in a better steel even. This is 440 and the other one's coming S30, I think. I could be wrong, but like S30 steel, it's like that's a good super steel. But I just wish that they would just give a plain edge version even in the cheap steel for this tool. These are running about $70, $80 on Leatherman's website right now. Locking knife blades are not UK friendly. We have the Leatherman Curl, which is basically a wave. Fantastic tool. I love it, but I, I don't like it for what they're trying to promote it as. They're trying to promote it as light, you know, as a lightweight tool. If you're wanting lightweight, you go for one of these guys. Go for the juice, go for the skeletal. If you're wanting tools and having a bunch of tools, you go for the wave or the surge or the free. Like this is just this gray area in between. I don't like it. The knife blade lock, so it's not UK legal. There is the Leatherman Bond, which has an internal uh, two-hand non-locking knife blade, which is very UK friendly. Would be wonderful to get my hands on one of those, but yeah. And unlike the wave, they swap out the mini eyeglass screwdriver for an awl, and I am an awl person more, more times than not. I do like the Victorinox eyeglass screwdriver, but I don't like Leatherman's eyeglass screwdriver. I don't know, it's just, I'm finicky like that. But we have a good selection of tools on the inside. You know, one of the better scissors in the multiverse, multi-tool world, which we will call the multiverse, thanks to, uh, uh, Max Level EDC, great guy. Go check his channel out. M A X L V L EDC, great channel, great content. You'll love it. We have Leatherman's can opener, cap lifter, and wire stripper, which I will attest to all three working. We have bit storage here, which I have one of the bits that it's supposed to have uh, somewhere on here. Yes, this one right here, second down from the top. That originally goes here, but since I don't carry this tool that often due to having a Victorinox and other bits and stuff on person all the time, I carry a Swiss Tool X. This guy stays in my toolbox a lot. So he's there, he's handy, but not carried to that much. Am I going to give away this gear? Not anytime soon. I like my gear, I'm collecting it, I want to have a collection. So, shoot you down right there. But these two tools right here, the... the Skeletal and the curl both will take the uh, bit system that Leatherman has. Just in case you didn't know, um, that goes in, and the bits can go in just like without, uh, even without this. But I prefer having the ratchet for the little extra reach and having the ratcheting ability. And this thing is a solid tank. I know that's plastic right there. But I've put some pressure on this guy that I thought would break it. And it's still shining bright. This thing is not failed on me yet. It'll probably fail one day, but it hasn't failed yet. And I've carried this for months. So, um, the pouch, since we brought it over here. this I think this is the larger pouch because like that tool goes in pretty deep and you got... A bit of a gap there at the top. This is for like the big surge tool. Uh, when Leatherman sent me this originally, they sent me the wrong pouch for it, and I told them about it. They sent me a new pouch, no trouble. Like, I don't know if they'll do that for everybody, but they did it for me. And you can get plain pouches with no pockets on the sides, and you can get pouches like this, which have a piece for uh, that and a little slip for something else of your choice, like a mini Sharpie you know, whatever little things you want to stick in there. And, yes, it is thick enough to hold both bit sleeves and the average multi-tool and close up, like so. You see there's plenty of room that it holds. It, it's, it's like the perfect pouch. These are very solid, very durable, long-lasting, and pretty cheap to replace.
But that is my current Leatherman collection. Just a fun little collection I have of knobs and knickknacks from Leatherman. These two are probably going to be my most carried Leathermans when I'm not carrying a Victorinox. I am personally a Victorinox fanboy, but I do appreciate Leatherman stuff, and I do like this. I love the skeletal. It feels, it looks funky, but it's absolutely comfortable to have in the hand. Right hand, left hand, it is comfortable, it's usable. It, it's, a, it's a joy to have. If you've never had a Leatherman, start with the skeletal. It's the bare bones minimum. It's great. You won't be disappointed. If you can, get your hands on a juice. Any of the juice series. There's some skinnier versions in this that have a few less tools. There's like a version that has a few more tools in this. Like these things are absolutely wonderful. They're great to have. They're small. They're compact. They're not too heavy. You know, like this is lighter than the Swiss Champ from Victorinox. It's awesome. This is a great keychain multi tool, especially for the office where you just need like a little knife blade, cut boxes open have scissors to uh, maintain your nails or something before a meeting. Uh, the file is great. The tweezers are great. Me, I'm doing a lot of uh, screwing and unscrewing stuff. And so I like to have the bit system. Go to eBay, look up uh, Leatherman style bit driver mod and you can find that on eBay for about $13. And these things are wonderful. And it comes with three screws in case you lose one of the uh, two screws that it has Because you're thinking why don't you just not have that and slip the bit in between because that obviously fits Well, if you don't have the screws holding the metal together when you go to put any sort of pressure on You'll spread out the metal and that's not good So the, the screws hold the metal together and give you just a little bit snugger uh, fit on the tool and it's absolutely wonderful Thank you for listening to me rant about my Leatherman collection. I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Uh,